Cheers. Thanks for all coming. Appreciate it. One and all. Hey guys, so we've just touched down in Indianapolis right now and I've basically got a whole day of seeing the best sights, what the city has to offer. Uh, hopefully we can see some cool things, go to a coffee start, go get some food and then uh, yeah, really see the sights. So it's going to be a cool day, busy day and uh, yeah, let's see what we can get through. So guys, we're at our first location of the day. We are at EMC Squared for Indy's Autonomous Challenge Cars. We're going to go check it out inside, see what it has to offer and uh, yeah, first time for me here, so let's go see. So guys, I got the car behind me here. Uh, this is the Indy Autonomous Challenge. Uh, it is currently just got back from Monza uh, for doing a speed record. It reached over 170 miles per hour without a human driving it. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think I'm still in a job for the next few years, that's for sure. But uh, ultimately, it's seriously impressive what these guys are trying to achieve over here and what I've just learned and taken away from, from these guys and you know some of my ideas of what I put into them. So, Cool little first stop, uh, looking forward to the, to the next few places, but ultimately, um, yeah, you know, this thing drives by itself, which is, uh, which is mega. I assume it's cool. I don't know why, but that's so much longer than what I thought it was gonna be. It's massive. Pictures don't do it justice. No, they really don't. Or videos. <laughs> calm down, guys. Calm down. It's fine. It's okay. Cheers. Thanks for all coming. Appreciate it. One and all. So we are at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Definitely a bucket list thing ticked off for me. Uh, incredible uh, sights here. Oh, so just Finished off at the Brickyard, uh, went into the podium and then did a lap in the pace car. So uh, really cool sights. I can't believe how big it is. Uh, obviously uh, on TV they complete a lap so quickly, whereas to actually do it in a pace car it looks like five minutes. So uh, thought it makes me want to come here and give it a go, but I think if push come to shove I'd probably bail. But uh, ultimately, yeah, to, to see 350,000 people here on race day must be absolutely incredible. So. Full credit to all the drivers, the teams and everything. Uh, it must be one hell of an event, but um, yeah, to see it here, uh, empty is uh, special enough, so yeah. So guys, we're at Monument Circle right now. Some um, remote control cars with a member of the public, so we're gonna go find them right now. Two, one, go. Oh, look at the apex, we've nailed that. Oh, you. Oh, he's gonna beat me! He's done it! Well, I finished second again. Well done, bro. Good job. Thank you. Oh my god. I've gone way too much. It's a good shrimp, though. I was burning through my nose. <laughs> That's super spicy. That's banging. I rate that. I'd rate it seven, uh, eight out of ten. I'd rate that. So we just finished lunch. Uh, one of the most famous restaurants in Indy. Uh, super nice. Had a nice steak. Uh, but now we're gonna head our way to the Luke Soil Stadium uh, to basically go to the Colts and go kick a field goal. Uh, hopefully. I'm good at it, uh, but yeah, looking forward to seeing the stadium. It can hold up to 65,000 people, so uh, I think it's going to be pretty big, pretty impressive. Uh, so yeah, let's go check it out. I get goosebumps now, just like with it empty. Wow, that's really cool. <laughs> Feel a bit bad actually. <laughs> Get that? <laughs> the only one I caught. <laughs> and that was what she used to do before as well. Just that. No. So I can't say I'm as good as that. That's for sure. But 
So guys, we've just got back to the Andretti factory and yeah, really cool day sightseeing the, obviously what the city has to offer. So a big thank you to IEDC for showing us around. Some really cool sites with the Motorsport Speedway, the, uh, the stadium, the NFL stadium, and then yeah, generally just seeing some of the monuments. So awesome day. We're gonna head back inside now, do a few more meetings, and uh, then I get to fly home back to the UK, back to London, and yeah, start preparing for Rome.